We're joined today by Bruce Meliwish, Managing Director of VRX Silica. Bruce, thanks for your time. Thanks, Dave. We're here to talk about building and construction and how silica sand plays a key role in its development. Probably the biggest use of silica sand. Some 50 billion tonnes a year is uh, silica sand is used in the and 49.5 billion tonne of that is probably used in the construction industry. So silica sand, it's, it's an essential component in the whole construction industry. Um, it's, there are various applications, and some of them are, of course, concrete. Um, it's a vital ingredient in, in concrete, and it's, concrete is the most widely used construction material. Um, it's mixed with cement, water, aggregates, and the aggregates are sort of crushed stone and gravel to create concrete. Sil the silica sand itself improves the strength and durability of concrete and enhances its workability. Essential component of silica sand at that point is that it's angular, so it locks together. And it's really the other components that allow the silica itself to lock together. So the strength is not so much the cement, which helps glue them together, but it's actually the silica sand that gives the, um, the concrete its strength. And different sizes of silica sand uh, will affect the, 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 the strength of uh, concrete. Lots of R&D going on these days um, around concrete production, uh, different size sands, different additives, carbon fibres, and often it's to make concrete stronger, so you use less of it, and uh, also uh, it reduces the uh, requirements for it for the sand and aggregate and, and cement. So any more to mix um, you know, for brick laying, plastering, other masonry uh, applications. Uh, it, once again, silica sand here improves the workability and the bonding properties of uh, mortar. So you get more uh, a stronger and more durable masonry structures. Asphalt, it's some, uh, local councils are one of the biggest users of silica sand in the world. Asphalt is 50% silica sand. In many countries now, not so much WA, surprisingly, um, crushed glass is used as a replacement for silica sand as part of the glass recycling industry. And it goes into asphalt. Up to 50% of asphalt is uh, silica sand. So you're really running on silica sand that is stuck together with bitumen. Um, and it's, it's a huge user of uh, silica sand. But also um, paints, coatings, adhesives. Um, everybody's heard of uh, the silicon gels that are used as sealants and, uh, and adhesives. Um, when, whenever you see the term silicon, think silica uh, because it's uh, the silica sand. So it's, um, once again, it, it's often the aggregate used in lightweight cement blocks and, uh, and a lot of uh, precast concrete products. We don't use them here, but in the States, they use asphalt shingles uh, in, in a lot of uh, Europe as well. And they, they're sort of a flexible tile that's made with asphalt and is probably about 50% silica. Uh, Non-slip surfaces, not a huge use, but um, still it's something that you're probably walking around on all the time. Uh, Fiberglass um, and fiberglass reinforcement. Um, silica sand is a key component in the production of fiberglass. Uh, it's, it's widely used in the construction industry. It's strong, it's, it can be stiff, and it's got dimensional stability and, uh, in uh, different atmospheric um, uh, conditions. Uh, it's used in reinforced plastics and different composite panels. Um, it's... it's Interesting to see how much silica sand is now being used in plastics. Uh, if you recall, uh, and particularly around the construction industry itself, there are more and more components in construction you'll see will be using plastics. And uh, uh, fixtures and fixings are often uh, very hard, durable plastics, which have a high silica component. And it's, it, it, it uh, allows them to be very durable. So uh, it's another product we're surrounded by. Silica sand, a key input into the building and construction sector. Bruce, thanks for your insights. Thanks, Dave.